the so the fundamental problem and we can talk about and the, and the vote in the end was rather close 20 20 votes separating canada from ireland um, so that suggests a rather strong campaign in spite of the fact that we came in so late. But the real, the fundamental problem, um, which we couldn't overcome, I mean, and we'll discuss various policies, which maybe, you know, which definitely contributed. But um, the fundamental, I, I mean, I wonder if global affairs really uh, put it on the line in the way that they should have when Canada, when the, when, the, when the political level, when the prime minister said he was gung-ho, he wants to, Canada to run, he can't wait. I wonder if they really put it on the line that, uh, you know, running against uh, Norway and Ireland was, was extremely foolhardy, yeah. and we've paid the price. Indeed. Uh, Karen, and of course, let me correct myself, Peggy is totally right. Of course, Canada did come late to the game, uh, and I'll correct myself on that point. Uh, Karen, uh, let's, let's delve directly, if we can, into this issue of, of Palestine, right? Because that seemed to have been a, a fairly important issue going into this vote, at least on the part of those organizations and individuals that spoke up in that regard. Um, how big a part do you think that may have played, especially considering we know Norway and Ireland are seemingly more balanced in their views when it comes to the occupied territories? Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Um, yeah, it would seem that uh, Palestine, I mean, certainly uh, the last time when uh, Canada did uh, buy for a United Nations Security Council seat, uh, it was sort of certainly said during the Harper government time, uh, the Conservative government, that it really was uh, the issues related to uh, Israel um, and the and the anti-Palestine vote that uh, lost the seat. Um, one would never really know, but certainly the record stands for itself. Uh, certainly things hadn't changed with uh, Trudeau coming into power since 2015, uh, with uh, still 66 votes against uh, Palestine um, motions at the United Nations. So our sense uh, is, in terms of the civil engagement from around the world, from organizations, from individuals, and uh, and the dialogue that followed the 